Okay, assalamualaikum. So today we proceed with uh, the estimation of the variance of the error terms, um, which is uh, the continuity from the uh, simple linear regression that you have learned before this. Okay, kalau refer textbook, it is on page twenty four. Okay, estimation of the error terms ni um, on page 24 and then after this uh, I will explain a little bit about the partitioning the total variability uh, yang ada bersangkut paut sikit lah dengan um, estimation of the variance ataupun sigma square which is the ANOVA nanti ok so the variance of the error term Ataupun nama lain yang kita panggil adalah Variance of the model Regression model Notationnya adalah sigma square Okay, the variance of sigma square Of the error terms uh, Epsilon In the regression model Needs to be estimated for a variety of purpose Okay, so why we uh, calculate Ataupun we determine the uh, value of sigma square okay it gives an indication of the variable variability of the probability distribution of y okay so we have the uh, y value okay y data data of uh, dependent variable so kita nak tengok dia punya variability uh, ataupun uh, from that uh, so we can see uh, the how many error that will uh, apa ni arise when we conduct the regression model when we use the regression model ataupun nama lain untuk sigma square ni uh, we can estimate the value of sigma square ni adalah using the MSE okay MSE which is the mean square error okay so kalau nak, nak estimate the uh, variance ataupun the error of of the regression model so notationnya sigma square how how we estimate that gunakan MSE ok it is also needed for making the inference concerning the regression function and the prediction of y so nanti we will use the value of estimated of sigma square which is the value of MSE ataupun the standard error which is the square root of MSE to um to make the inference, but kita boleh buat the kita boleh test for the hypothesis. We can uh, calculate the confidence interval, okay, using the value of MSE. So, what is the formula that I talk about just now? Okay, the formula of MSE adalah okay. Uh, before this, uh, that you have learned. MSE adalah SSE right divide dengan dia punya degree of freedom so SSE adalah summation of EI square EI adalah residual ok um, uh, square of the residual adalah EI square so summation of EI square adalah uh, SSE juga ok adalah SSE dinamakan error sum of square ataupun residual sum of square. So, this part summation of EI square adalah SSE. How to get the EI square residual uh, before this? Mm, I dah brief. How to find the residual? It is YI minus Y hat square. Okay, this part adalah SSE. Bila kita uh, divide dengan degree of freedom, which is N minus 2, it will get the value of MSE. Dipanggil mean square error. Okay, mean square error. We will use the mean square error to estimate the value of sigma square. We can use the value of MSE to estimate the value, to estimate the uh, error variance and we also can use this error variance to make the inference nanti buat hypothesis testing boleh <coughs> nak, nak cari confidence interval ok so MSE adalah estimation for sigma square let's say kita nak 
estimate the standard error, regression standard error, we can estimate using the value of S, which is the square root of the uh, MSE. Okay. Okay, this is the illustration how we get the value of uh, summation of EI square ataupun SSE. Okay, we have the Y column, we have the X column, Y adalah dependent variable, X adalah independent variable. Okay, Y depend on X. Okay, so um, and then once we have these two columns, these two data, uh, we can create the this um, regression function y hat, and from there we can calculate each of the value of y hat for every observation. Why we doing this? Because kita nak cari value of residual, which is the residual adalah y i minus y i hat. So, this column minus this column. So, for every row. Okay. So, dapatlah residual. Square kan residual, you will get this column. You total up the five, the last column kat sini, you akan dapat value of SSE. Summation of EI square adalah value of SSE. So, total kat sini adalah value of SSE. To get the value... Of MSE, you need to divide dengan dia punya stand, uh, degree of freedom which is N minus 2. Last sekali untuk dapatkan regression standard error, you kena square root kan the value of MSE, you akan dapat that value 67. Nanti you boleh, you try, uh, try, try using your calculator, try to calculate, you akan dapat the same value. Okay. Okay, we proceed with analysis of a variance approach to the regression analysis, uh, which is from this <coughs> analysis of variance approach, we will create or build the ANOVA table. <coughs> okay, so analysis of variance is the term of statistical analysis that break down the variation in data into separate pieces that correspond to the different sources of variation. So, semuanya berkenaan dengan deviation uh, dan juga variation. It is based on the partitioning of sum of square and the degree of freedom associated with the response variable y. So, kita akan partitionkan sum of square. Kita akan ada SST, SSE uh, dan juga SSR. Okay, and then uh, dia punya degree of freedom. Okay, we need all of this to create the ANOVA table. But before that, you kena tahu dulu macam mana uh, the formula of FST, SSE dan SSR uh, created. In the regression setting, the observed variation in the response Y comes from two sources. Okay, which is Okay, it is conventionally measured in the terms of the deviation, okay, uh, perbezaan, the deviation di antara yi dengan y bar. Okay, yi dengan y bar. Okay, contoh dekat sini. Eh. Uh, uh, I tunjukkan the illustration. Dalam your textbook ada dekat page 64. Yang ni, di, uh, apa ni, chapter 2, page 64. Ada dia punya figure and all the explanation actually. Okay, so kalau kita tengok the, uh, from the figure A, uh, it is the deviation between yi dengan y bar. Okay, this deviation as shown by the vertical lines. Okay, the measure, kita cuba tengok uh, figure A kat sini. Eh, the total deviation of yi minus y bar. Ini adalah illustration untuk kita cari uh, measure of the total variation which is SST okay which is SST if you if you can see here um, 
okay y, uh, the deviation eh, total deviation of yi minus y bar okay so garisan ni this line okay this line adalah line of y bar okay line of y bar straight line kat sini the vertical line y bar itu y bar okay and then all the dot kat sini point point semua ni adalah observation of y okay observation of y so the deviation di antara y bar maksudnya uh, line ni dengan y for every observation total of the deviation adalah sst so you akan kita akan kirakan deviation between y1 dengan this line y bar plus the deviation between y2 this point dengan line y bar then plus pula kalau ada y3 y3 Uh, minus dengan y bar and so on total of all this deviation adalah sst okey itu untuk sst the first um, figure here figure a okey figure b pula adalah illustration untuk kita dapatkan sse which is it is the deviation of yi minus y bar kan sse adalah error kan Uh, some square of error uh, that we know tadi as untuk dapatkan SSE adalah summation of EI square so the, the, the deviation between this adalah ok uh, ok so garisan ni line ni the straight line here adalah uh, apa ni the regression line which is the dipanggil A regression function ataupun regression line yang kita dapat from the OLS, OLS method sebelum ni y hat equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x ini adalah line y hat ok so the deviation between y i dan y hat adalah let's say for this one y1 ok tolak dengan y hat uh, apa ni dia punya uh, regression line dekat sini and then tengok pula Poin yang kedua y2 dengan y hat ni. Berapa dia punya deviation. So total of the deviation of yi dengan y hat tu. Dan uh, square kan dia. So you akan dapat ss. Kita akan dapat ss e. Okay. And then ssr pula adalah. Okay. ssr kalau kita tengok daripada illustration dekat sini. Okay, ni garisan Y bar. Okay, so actually SSR adalah deviation between Y hat dengan Y bar. Okay, so ini Y bar. Garisan vertical line Y bar. Dan ini adalah regression line Y hat. So, the deviation between this vertical line dan juga uh, Y hat adalah total of that. Dan uh, square kan dia, dia dipanggil. SSR ok dipanggil SSR ok boleh nampak eh boleh faham uh, macam mana kita illustrate how to get the uh, sum of square of total of error dan juga of regression ok so if we can see here daripada uh, illustration tadi kita akan dapat total variation equal to the deviation of the fitted regression SSR plus dengan the deviation uh, around the fitted regression line SSE ok so this part bila kita masukkan um, summation so dia akan jadi SST SST equal to SSR plus SSE. So, actually untuk create the formula of SST, SSR dan SSE, it comes from the illustration of the deviation between uh, mean dengan observation, the deviation between observation dengan uh, fitted value dan juga the deviation between um, fitted value dan juga mean. Okay, right, mean the sama. Okay, saya cakap tadi ni, ini adalah uh, 
value of S uh, sorry the formula of SST from there we know that the formula of SST adalah summation of yi minus y bar square and um, you should know also that if SST is 0 so maksudnya the deviation between the mean and the observation is 0 means that the all observation are the same no variability the other variability between uh, mean dan juga y maksudnya dia punya y bar is 0 right so tak ada variability between mean dan juga y so sst will be 0 the greater is sst the greater is the variation among the y values okay so kalau kita dapat SST tinggi means that the deviation between yi dengan y bar ni also greater okay because of that the greater is SST the greater is the variation among the y values so the deviation between the observation kalau kalau you boleh bayangkan the from the illustration tadi uh, dia punya observation dan juga uh, vertical line y bar tu jauh lah so dia punya variation will be greater when we use the regression model the the measure of the variation that the observation variability around the fitted line uh, the fitted line which is the y hat ok so yang ni tadi daripada uh, the illustration tadi the measure of the variation in the data around the fitted regression line is the value of SSE which is the summation of yi minus y hat square. Okay. Ataupun itu adalah deviation of error. And then last kali the formula of SSR. So actually dah tunjuk tadi which is the summation of yi hat minus y bar square. Another name dipanggil regression sum of square. The larger is SSR re relative to SST, the greater is the role of the regression line in explaining the total variability in Y observation. Okay, in order to create the ANOVA table, we also uh, need to know about the degree of freedom for each of the sum of square okay so this part that uh, uh, I mentioned just now this is the SST equal to SSR plus SSE okay so the breakdown of the degree of freedom for each of the sum of square ni adalah okay n minus 1 will be the degree of freedom untuk SST why n minus 1 one degree of freedom is lost okay uh, because uh, we estimate the population mean y bar okay so because of that the degree of freedom will be n minus 1 okay untuk SSE okay untuk SSE the degree of freedom is n minus 2 means that two degree of freedom are lost because of uh, we estimate the parameter beta naught and beta 1 daripada sini ok, so sebab tu dia lost to degree of freedom n minus 2 ok, and then untuk SSR pula, the degree of freedom for SSR is 1 because of, uh, actually 2 degree of freedom are associated with the regression line, beta naught and beta 1, but 1 of the 2 degree of freedom tadi, uh, lost because of we estimate the uh, y bar so, because of that, the degree of freedom is 1. Okay. So, untuk create the ANOVA table, uh, we need to divide the sum of square tadi with its degree of freedom. So, because of that, MSR will be SSR divided by 1, MSE equal to SSE divided n minus 2. This uh, ANOVA table that we talk about is for uh, when we uh, uh, analyze using the simple linear regression means that we have only one independent variable. 
Okay, so this is the ANOVA table that you are very familiar with. Okay, so nak create this ANOVA table, kena betul-betul tulis dia punya source of variation, kena ada regression, kena ada error dan juga total. The next column will be SS. Um, notation for sum of square, will you will put the value of SSR here, value of SSE here and value of SST here. So, how to get all this value? We have the formula. So, I believe you all pun dah biasa um, uh, apa ni? with the formula of SSR, SSE dan SST. So, the third column kat sini adalah column untuk degree of freedom for SSR is 1. Okay, kalau um, uh, if we deal nanti dengan multiple linear regression, dia punya degree of freedom for SSR kat sini uh, will be different lah. So, kat sini satu degree of one degree of freedom because of we deal with the one uh, independent variable. So, SSE dekat sini N minus 2 sebab kita deal 2 sebab kita deal dengan um, a simple linear regression that we lost 2 uh, degree of freedom uh, because because we estimate the parameter beta 0 and beta 1. Let's say you ada 2x, you are a parameter you akan jadi 3 kan? Beta 0, beta 1 and beta uh, 2. So, dekat sini will be n minus 3. Then, SST is always n minus 1 which is the total of the degree of freedom of regression dan error. So the the, uh, the 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 next column adalah mean square okay mean square column which is uh, you need to divide each of the sum of square with its degree of freedom so msr equal to ssr divided by its degree of freedom 1 mse equal to sse divided its degree of freedom n minus 2 and last kali, uh, last column, lastly we will, we can uh, calculate or determine the F value which is MSR divided dengan MSE. So, our intention sebenarnya last kali untuk dapatkan value of F ni. This value F uh, we will use in order to chart the significance of the regression model okay later we will go to the hypothesis we will um, include the hypothesis testing in our analysis okay so this is for the formula that you are familiar with before this Okay, untuk uh, the formula for SST. So, SST actually adalah SYY. So, how to, how to get the SYY? This, this is the formula, right? Summation of YI square minus summation of Y. Square can all the value divide dengan N. Untuk dapatkan SSR, we have to formula whether you use beta 1, multiply dengan SXY, ataupun you can use uh, SX, X which is beta 1 square, multiply SX x okay so you know how to find s x y then x x x s x x tak ada kat sini s x x will be summation of x i square minus summation of x all of that square divided dengan small n okay so untuk dapatkan beta 1 this is a formula which is the s x y divided dengan s x X that you have learned before this. So last kali untuk dapatkan SSE, just it just SST minus SSR. So once we have all the uh, value of SS uh, sum of square dan juga mean square, last kali uh, our intention untuk dapatkan value of F kan from the ANOVA table. Last kali we will get the value of F value that we will use to test the significance of the regression model ok the formula kat sini ni uh, that I mentioned here adalah the formula when we deal with the simple linear regression 
Okay, untuk multiple linear regression, we have the other, uh, the other, the way, the other way to uh, find the value of or the sum of square error ataupun uh, the 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 value to get the ANOVA table. Okay, this is the test of the significance of the regression model ataupun regression function that you are familiar with sama juga you dah pernah jumpa sebelum ni ok so kena ada hypothesis h0 and h1 so because of video dengan simple linear regression so kat sini adalah parameter satu je sajalah untuk beta 1 sahaja beta 1 equal to 0 beta 1 not equal to 0 if beta 1 0 means that the slope is 0 kalau slope 0 you takkan ada regression line ok so kalau kita fail to reject hash not kita accept hash not means that the regression uh, function atau regression model are not significant which is there is no linear association between y dan x okay uh, when we reject hash not means that we accept the hash one which is beta one not equal to zero which mean we have the value of beta one the slope so we have the regression line so we can say that the 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 regression model are significant okay so once we have the hypothesis we need to um, mention the significance level of alpha that is um, controlled by the researcher and then we have the test statistic f which is the value from the anova table that is and then the decision rule is we will reject hash not if the test statistic f more than the f table okay remember how to get the ataupun how to read the f table from your um, statistical table yang merah tu i believe all of you are ada kalau tak ada kena dapatkan anova table tersebut sebab nanti you will use the uh, statistical table in final exam dan juga in final assessment and all the other assessment pun you kena gunakan we, we, will, we will use that statistical table lah uh, to, um, to 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 for the for your PNP ok so kena ada kalau tak ada try to get that ataupun you boleh inform saya kalau if ada lagi lah saya boleh tolong postkan ke macam mana ok kena ada alright so dia punya critical value adalah F alpha remember kalau F table tak perlu you punya significant level tak perlu divide dengan 2 ok walaupun dekat sini adalah total test agak-agak total test kan sebab tapi kita, bila kita conduct F test di sini the value of significance level for the critical value cannot be divided by 2 ok so alpha sahaja dekat sini ok dia punya degree of freedom uh, adalah 1 and, and minus 2 ni adalah actually adalah degree of freedom untuk regression dan juga mean square error mean square regression dan juga mean square error ok uh, kena tengok betul-betul 1 dulu baru and minus 2 kalau kita tukar to the value of f will be and so we will reject hash not if the test statistic more than the critical value if if hash not is rejected so we can say that um, the regression model are significant ataupun we also can say that one of the at least at least tapi ini adalah simple linear regression so ok tak perlu nak mention that ok sorry eh uh, if we reject hash not okay if we reject hash not means that uh, we accept hash one so there is a uh, the regression model sorry the regression model are significant or you also can say that you boleh ambil dia punya conclusion ni there is the linear association ataupun linear relationship between y and x Okay, so this is the example. Let's say we have uh, two variable y and x here. Okay, to set up the ANOVA table, first you need to calculate the value of SST, SSR, then SSE. Okay, so uh, here 
kat sini terus dia masukkan value of beta 1 and sxy but you need to show okay in your calculation after this you need to show how to find the sxy which is the summation of xy uh, summation of xy minus uh, summation of x multiply summation of y divide dengan n and then kena tunjuk satu-satu lah macam mana cara you dapatkan sst dan ssr and also uh, at first point you kena uh, apa ni, uh, list down all the value of summation summation of y summation of x summation of y square summation of x square summation of x y and so on okay then you come up with the calculation to get the value of all the sum square error and then lastly you can create the ANOVA table okay so ANOVA table kena um, kena kena tulis betul that is the regression error and all the and all the apa ni ejaan pun kena betul last kali kita akan dapat value of f and we can conduct the test to see uh, whether there is um, uh, significance of the regression model okay so from here kena ada hypothesis kena statekan dia punya alpha kena ada value f f tadi dah ambil daripada ANOVA table sebenarnya and then you compare kan dengan critical value okay so cuba check cuba check you punya ANOVA table how to get the 4.28 here okay you should know that and then last kali the conclusion because of we reject hash not okay so we can conclude that there is a linear association between the y and x and so the regression model is significant so actually all of this you have learned before this in diploma but uh, I believe you all dah familiar with this cuma maybe tambahan sikit about the uh, tadi kan the partition of the variability tadi explanation of with uh, together with the illustration of the figure tadi alright so I hope it's clear and then nanti boleh tanya lagi lah